Hello and welcome to the BCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. In this iCast, we're going to talk about whether you should buy or build a computer. Now, when we're talking about laptops, I'm going to first say just buy one. Okay, we're just going to get that right out of the way. There are options for building laptops out there, but typically they're not as cost effective. And when you lose the warranty on a laptop, it's kind of a nightmare. So I usually avoid laptops altogether when you're talking about the difference between buying and building them. But when you're talking about desktops, you're in a whole different world. Building a desktop is one of the most rewarding and exciting experiences anybody from hardcore IT to just your run-of-the-mill Jomo from Eskimo, Kokomo, Jomo the Eskimo from Kokomo, can find a lot of real enjoyment out of. I mean, it's one of those things where you get to start from the beginning, put it all together, and you get to see a product come to fruition. Now, building computers isn't as nearly as difficult as it used to be, and the amount of money you can save is astounding when you're talking about desktop PCs. Typically, what I tell people is if you want to talk about cost savings, go to Dell, build your favorite machine or the machine you think you want, look at that price, and I'm going to be generous here, cut off about 30%. That's how much it'll cost to build it. So you're talking about saving at least 30% in build, and not to mention you're familiar with the hardware and you're a lot more comfortable to work with it, and each individual piece of hardware typically has its own warranty that you can uh, turn in for it. Not to mention the hardware you're going to use on a build is going to be much, much more reliable and much less, let's say, I don't know, mass-produced in Chinese and not really focused on high quality. Also, the hardware you're going to buy is going to be extremely upgradable. So there's tons of advantages to building a computer over buying one, but there are also advantages to buying one over building one. Sure, you're going to pay the extra money, but you don't have to put the labor in to build it. Always an advantage for those of you who aren't interested in, you know, learning how to build one. Uh, you don't risk buying hardware that might fail, and then you'll have to deal with the consequences when you're talking about building. You're talking about dealing with individual manufacturers, which while it is great to have individual manufacturer warranties, you can't just call up the support line for that computer and ask questions about that build. You're going to have to do some research yourself in order to move forward with that. Also with building computers, one of the advantages, uh, well... And one of the advantages is basically simplicity. You know what I mean? Ease of use. Many times on the standard computers you're used to buying over the counter, the operating system's already installed, the software's already on there that'll do what you want it to do, and you don't have to worry about tackling all those you know issues when they come up. Now you will save a truckload of money if you decide to build, and so that's kind of what this video is addressing. Is it worth buying or not? Well, it depends on buying or building. It depends on the person you are. Personally, I think everybody should build a computer at least one time in their lives because it is a fun and rewarding experience, and I think once you've done it once, you realize how easy it is to do it. Plenty of resources out there on how to build a computer, plenty of places to research how to do certain things, and for the most part, computers really, once you've picked out the hardware and bought it, they go together like easier than Legos. Like everything only fits in one location. The jacks and things like that are all connected and only, you know, they only slide in. The memory only slides into certain slots. The connectors for hard drives only slide into certain slots. All the CD-ROMs only slide into certain slots. They all come with manuals. They all come with guides. It'll be a learning experience, yes. The hardest part's probably going to be installing the processor. And any more, they've pretty much streamlined that whole process. So that's all there is to this video. Yes, I'd say it is extremely, it is much better to build than it is to buy, but that really kind of depends on the person you are. So I got that typical IT answer, yes, but no. Is it, uh, which one's better? Yes. I mean, it really depends on who you are and what you want to do. I always opt for building because there's just a lot more benefits in my opinion. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings and also, you can leave questions below for these iCasts. I've been having a lot of fun doing them, and I enjoy your guys' feedback. And if you have any other questions, just post them, and we'll go ahead and try to get them answered as soon as I can. Right now, I have a list of questions i got to go through, so I'm going to make, make it through them as quick as I can. So thanks again.